We do have a live look at Kennedy Space Center this morning. Launchpad 39B Artemis 1 now has a new launch window. It is Saturday, September 3rd. It opens at 2.17 p.m. During a briefing yesterday, NASA officials laid out the options moving forward. And joining us now to talk more about the new launch window is Julie Brissett. She is the interim director at UCF's Florida Space Institute. Good to see you, Dr. Brissett. How are you? Good morning. Um, very good. Thank you. You so, too, I hope. Yes, I am. So I, I'm obviously very excited for Saturday, and I think everyone's a little anxious, and, you know, having gone through Monday and being disappointed. How likely do you think we are to see this go up on Saturday? Well, I definitely think that uh, we have our best people working on it. So I hope that they can find the solution and launch on Saturday. So there's a lot that goes into sort of finding the solution. And, and one of the things we understand is that as they were filling up the tanks, that's when the problem sprang up, right? So, so do they take the fuel out of the tank and then go through that whole process over again? How does all this work? Yes, they have to. Um, and if it, you know, if it gets to a point where they have to, you know, take the whole rocket off the launch pad, they will do that. Obviously not before Saturday. So they're hoping to find the solution without having to do that. But if that's what it takes for a safe launch and um, the future of humanity on the moon, that's what they're going to do. I was reading up on your background and you've done a lot of fascinating research about sort of the, the, the start of the universe and, and the discussions about, you know, dust and gravity. And tell me a little bit about your research and, and why you're excited about this mission. Yeah, uh, my research involves a lot of dust, and uh, usually when I say that, it doesn't sound, you know, very interesting, but that's actually how our planetary system started. Our planets assembled from little dust grains, and so it's very interesting to study how that worked, as well as, you know, how dust behaves now on surfaces like the moon, for example, in these environments that are very different from Earth. And it's very important to understand that because that's the first thing that the astronauts are going to step on when they arrive. And so that's what I work on. I study that, yes. So you must be very excited for this eventual landing on the moon in 2025 and, and what they might discover. Um, yes, absolutely. And just I think the most exciting for me is um, that we're going back, first of all, um, and that we're going back to stay. I think that's uh, the key point. We're going to settle where we're going to find solutions on how to stay there, how to, you know, extend humanity from Earth to the moon and then beyond. The moon is just the first step. It's the base. We want to go there in order to go later to Mars and other destinations. Who knows? Will you actually go out to the Space Coast on Saturday to watch it up close? What's your plan? I might. I might. I was not able on Monday um, because of work. But uh, now that it's on a Saturday, I'm certainly <laughs> interested in going. All right. Well, if you're going, that's a good sign. We're going to take that as, a, as maybe a little bit of a stroke of good luck. So Julie Brissett, Dr. Julie Brissett, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us this morning. We appreciate you. It was a pleasure. Take care.